analysis. And it, we, what we do is, in addition to the data mining, we do data blending. So if you don't have any custom research studies that have already been done, we have syndicated research that we use that we blend your data with. And then we can come up with the profiles, whether they go to movies, what kind of movies, what kind of entertainment they like, what kind of hobbies they do, so that you can really approach them with better communication, more direct approach, and whatever your communication is. You can upsell, you can cross-sell better with them, develop new product ideas. Are you using Axiom or DataLogic, something like that? If we're using, it's IBM. Okay. It's IBM. I mean, I think it's huge. Um, it, it's, it's something, though, that most people are not out looking for. Mm -hmm. So educating them on what it can do. Uh, we did that once and with a Forex list we had, and we found all this great data. We found who our buyers were all the way down to not just zip codes, but a demographic profile. And it had more names like affluent baby boomers, and they fall into these parameters. But more importantly, once you know who they are, you can then advertise to them. I like kind of get it technical here, but um, I think the value is certainly there. It was expensive, though, so are you looking well, that's, for... Well, that's one of the things. When you, you, know, you posed the question before, you said, would I want to work with me? And absolutely, because I'm relentless in finding the answers, and we give it at a value that is unbelievable. So and I know that data mining, without the data blending, starts at 25000 I know that. We're offering you at 15000 with the data blending. So we are offering that value, we're offering that service, and what we do is we go way beyond answering the client's questions to make sure that they have a very clear profile and what the implications are for marketing in, in all their departments, and whatever it is. Are you, are you running it on your existing clients? Are you doing it on your own business to find out, to find out who they are, or who, who is the profile of somebody that's willing and able to spend 15 and 25 well, my, my client base uh, are large advertising agencies, and now I've, I've been getting into with smaller businesses. I really want to get back into the medium and the large <coughs> companies. So that did have you do that? Did, did you answer that question? I wasn't sure if you did. Well, did you data mine your own client base? I have not data mined my own client base because my database is not large enough to data mine. So I have not done that. I think there's a huge opportunity, though, if you were willing to scale it down to the internet marketers and that. You know, certainly not in the fifteen thousand dollar range, but at a thousand dollars, two thousand dollars, if you could automate that, it's such an important variable these days because it's so competitive in internet marketing and and uh, knowing who to advertise to and how to convert them. And nobody's doing it. Nobody's catering to the little guys, right. and everyone's going after the, the higher level. I mean, I think we paid seventy five hundred uh, through somebody we knew, and it was well worth it. But um, we were kind of a very small. You know, nobody was doing it. Nobody had really yeah. heard about it. Right. So that's your challenge. If you could get it, even if it wasn't the full package, get it down to where it's cool enough that they would want the full package later. And then I would do webinars and show it, show people that. Say, hey, you know, if you're not getting X ROI on your leads, come check this out. Because what I saw the deliverable, I was amazed at what we could do. We, you know, down to paper click to a zip code within a three mile radius, of, you know, things like that. that um, you know, could really move the ROI in a lot of people's business if they knew about it. And if it wasn't $25,000. So what you were wowed by was the fact that you could identify and bring down the zip codes to really identify where the people are and what, they, what their interests was, are. What I yeah, heard is, um, if you're getting X amount, if you're not getting X amount ROI per click, you got to see this. The yeah, money. that would be your lead on your advertising. But uh, showing, what I was wowed by is that we got all these categories back and they had these names for them. That was kind of like, wow, that's kind of cool. What I wonder what that really means. And we didn't really know what it meant other than you could find more of them. And so we boiled down who our core <coughs> buyers were, and they said they could find more of those people. And they compared they compare a thousand data points on them. So they know big data knows a lot about everyone in the world. Oh, yeah. Yes. And they just see, if, but everybody has a core buyer that if you can find more of them, mm -hmm. that's, that's game changing. And so I think you know, giving that message out is, is really And how did you important. use the data analysis, the, the predictive analysis? We, we didn't really follow through like we should have. Uh, we paid for it, and we, we had some direct mail that was going to go out, and we just got <coughs> di diverted. And, did you and, uh, get suggestions on what to do on, on marketing implications? Did you get specific implications? Did um, you just get a report that this is the views of It's been a while, but that's an add-on service you could upsell later. Like, here's, 
here's the data. Do you want to know what to do with it? Well, see, that, I give the whole package. Because I don't believe if you just dump data in somebody's lap, they're just going to sit in their lap or sit on his desk. Okay? It's not going to go anywhere. The point is, the, how many people are looking for that? And how many are willing to write that check? Well, that's why I was asking about the CEOs of medium and large sized companies. And you say you guys have had that experience, you know, Donald Trump's in the world, and so on. I'm looking for those size companies, the large advertising agencies, the large companies that have the budget and want to get this information out and do something with it. Or are they just happy to have their data sit there? I just found them finding them. Yeah. yeah. Relationship. Yeah. yeah. Relationship. Big sale items like that? Or relationship? relationship. Yeah, okay. yeah, at least at least seven hours. At least seven hours. Mm -hmm. A $25,000 product is usually Seven hours, seven hours of combined time, creating a relationship to get a twenty-five thousand dollars sale. And data to back up that you've got the goods to deliver what they want. Mm -hmm. So do you have statistics and testimonials and proof. So you have social, you know, where's the proof about what you can do for them? Yes, we have some studies that have been done that show the benefits of, of doing it with us and what they got. So we do have okay. that. Okay. Okay. Something beats it on camera, though. I spent the money and I turned my 10,000 into 100,000. Oh, absolutely. So, you have those? I don't have them on camera. No, I don't have them on camera. Can you get it? Possibly. Is it your company? It is my company. So what's the name? Consumer Perspective. No S at the end. Yeah. Consumer? We, might, we might want to talk to you. Yeah, well, I, that would be wonderful because that's what I do is market research. And we do focus groups. We do online studies, telephone surveys in person. Any kind of research to answer your marketing questions. As long as we get the friends and family discount, that would work. Well, <laughs> 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 your brothers like, now. How do you differ from Crystal Linux or a data filling tool? A data filling tool? Yeah, I mean, there's ultimately there's a lot of tools up there where we can get an email and uh, and a name, and, and we can like Rapley for like Rapley. Yeah. And I'm not familiar with those fill companies. In, they'll fill in the extra data, so now we can market to the extra data. There, there are APIs, just to clarify, we have a script that will pull out of Facebook name and email address and send it to the third-party data provider. And out of their database, they say, oh, well, here's their birthday, their gender, their address, and bang, 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 and they send out the missing data. Well, it's kind of cool. Okay, so they're, they're, they're filling in more of the, like a it's form a, or something. They're filling in more of the app. It's a real-time data. Yeah, you're really, you, what you do is take an existing database and define yeah, it, break it down, categorize it. That's right. And, and uh, offer ideas, suggestions, recommendations on how to upsell, cross-sell, joint ventures. Based upon the trends based, based based upon the trends we see in the yeah. data and combining it, blending it with the with the syndicated database, which goes into the psychographics and attitudinal information. Yeah. Which a lot of companies don't have because they haven't spent the money to do that. Short answer is I always do webinars and get CEOs on the webinars. That's the challenge, though. How do you find them? How do you get them on the webinars? Yeah. But you don't need a lot of $25,000 sales to make it work. You know, and, and leads, like if somebody said, well, Debbie, yes, I can put you in touch with it. But back to Facebook, you can say <laughs> you are CEOs of a company. I would go LinkedIn, yeah. yeah LinkedIn, LinkedIn. 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 Uh, yeah, maybe better. I don't know if they have that kind of service <coughs> ability. I think at the yeah. advanced levels they do. So, um, just something that Tony Robbins did, business breakthroughs, in order to get CEOs and um, C oh, yeah, level on people on, on, on our webinars, was a big name. So, if you're already making $25,000 or $15,000, and so you obviously are making money, um, it may be good to get a, a, a level of that person. Uh, to do like radio, uh, uh, sorry, a media person would have been an awesome person for you, um, because radio, TV, at that mm -hmm. level, so doing it um, during profit on Thursday nights at 10 mm -hmm. o'clock, or during Shark Tank on CNBC reruns, you know, these type of things, those are your, <clears throat> those are the people that are watching that, because that's yeah. what they like. And so, if you had a really focused 30 okay. second advertisement that stated these things, you know, said, hey, we are having a webinar, <coughs> or call this number, and you put them on to 10, 15 people on a webinar, and then you, because in a $25,000 price point, two and a half hour webinar, explaining statistics and testimonials, it, you could you could get people into a $5,000, $10,000 program. That was great. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that was the last one.
Yeah, that is it. That was awesome. That was awesome. Yeah.